thesis of active management is that individual research analysts, fund managers can go around meet companies, figure out which stock in which company is the best to invest in and give you a better return. The thesis of passive investing is that fund managers are not that smart and research analysts are not that smart. And the index provider can give you a list of companies and their weights and by mirroring those index stocks, that's called passive, you can do better and outperform these actively managed funds. So an actively managed fund is someone who actively goes out looking for the best company. The passive uh, index or the passive funds where there's people sitting in a room who probably have never met a company looking at certain ratios and deciding that these companies meet certain ratios of size, market cap, experience, whatever it is, and they create the index. Those are the two parts to investment. And it's up to you to decide which one you want to go for. I'm not a big believer in passively managed index funds, largely because I think they ignore a lot of other realities of the environment in which company operates. And I don't feel comfortable seeing my money deployed in companies who I think are not doing good for either the environment or for society or in some sense of questionable business practices. They populate the index and they become popular, they become large, they become large market caps and they make it to the index. Of course, a passively managed index fund is far cheaper than an actively managed equity fund. Typically, an actively managed equity fund will cost 1% in terms of fees. So if you give 100 rupees for an actively managed fund, only 99 rupees finds its way into the market working on your behalf. One person has gone to the fund management house. On the passive side, that cost may be 0.1%. So 110 and 99.9 rupees out of every 100 is actually invested in stocks. So you decide what you think works best for you. I have chosen so far to really stay away uh, in terms of large allocations to index funds and much of my personal investment is lying in actively managed funds. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.